Hi, my name is Dr. Michael Chen. I work with Dr. Demetrius Lopez here at the Rush Center for Neurovascular Surgery. I'd like to talk a little bit about a diagnostic cerebral angiogram. It is a procedure that Dr. Lopez and I perform on hundreds of patients each year here. It is a catheter-based study which uses x-ray and contrast dye and uh, catheter-based devices to allow us to obtain high-resolution images of the blood vessels in the brain and spine. It also provides information on blood flow. Basically, this procedure, um, to get prepared for it, uh, there's some lab work that we need to get ahead of time, and on the day of the procedure, um, you come in, we start an intravenous line to give you medications to make you feel pretty comfortable, bring you into the angiography suite, like flat on your back, or clean off the area in the groin, maybe a little bit of shaving, and some numbing medication around that area. After that, really no pain for the rest of the procedure, just a little mosquito bite feeling. After that, an incision about this big in the crease in the groin, and we'll gain access into the artery in the leg, and from there, using x-ray guidance, bring the catheter up to the arteries in the neck. And from there, we'll be taking some pictures. You will intermittently hear us ask you, uh, hold still, don't breathe, move, swallow, or speak, and you'll feel a little warm flush sensation, and that should pass. After, and then we'll say breathe and relax. We'll do that test for about 30 minutes or so, and after that, we'll close up the area in the leg. You have to keep it straight for the next few hours, and then you'll, the procedure will basically be complete, and most patients are able to be uh, go home after a few hours. We'll have the information immediately available, and hopefully it'll be very helpful in, in the management of, of your case. The risk of complications is generally considered less than 1%, maybe one in a 1,000, one in 5,000 of a serious complication, including stroke, injury to the blood vessels, some groin or kidney uh, complications. There's a risk of a nuisance complication, maybe one in 25 of a bruise in your groin or a bruise in the IV. Again, if there's any other questions about diagnostic cerebral angiogram, please feel free to contact either myself or Dr. Lopez. I would be happy to assist you and, and look forward to helping you out with this.